today is going to be another grand tour of Scotland. Someone said they would like me to go to a harbour town in East Lothian. We have come a wee drive out with the family to North Berwick here on East Lothian coast and it's absolutely beautiful, look at this. That there is Bass Rock, there's like a swimming pool thing here. The whole family behind me, this Teka, my family are over there, my dad's going to fly his drone. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take some photos and stuff down here as well. Just come down onto the sand, I'm going to walk out there onto the swimming pool wall and Tech is going to take a photo of me for Instagram for me. I just got the camera back off Teka, who's walking behind me somewhere. There she is. You come in. You're supposed to swim in this water, but it is pretty cold right now. In the summertime only. The only thing swimming today is a dog out here in the water. We've got this kind of walkway that goes all the way along. And it's basically just like a, a wall. It keeps the water in here at low tide. The tide comes back in and fills over. But in the summertime, you can swim here. And I used to do that when I was a kid. It's like a... A really, really cool sandy bottomed outdoor swimming pool. But as I say, no chance I'm going in there today unless I kind of fell off this wall because it is freezing. I would touch the water even just to tell you how cold it is, but I'm not going to do that. This is the middle of winter in Scotland and let me tell you, it is cold at this time of year here. And look at all the reflections of the houses here, that's amazing. <laughs> We try and come here quite often because it is close to Edinburgh, it takes about 20 minutes to drive down the coast, nice little town, and in the summertime they do great ice creams here as well. Top tip if you're ever in Scotland in the summer. My dad is there behind me flying his drone. Such a cool place, but it is very busy here in the summertime. That's one thing to be warned about. I mean today in the winter it's quite cold. Not many people, but in the summer it's absolutely mobbed on this beach. So I'm going to take a wee walk away from the beach and go up to the harbour. Because it's pretty cool there as well. I just thought I'd show you around town a little bit, because I know North Berwick really well. I've been here so many times. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful place to come and visit. And it's well worth doing it for the series. Oh, hiya. Hey. Yeah, hey, Paul. What's your name? Charlie. 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 You probably smell my dogs. You got a dog, eh? I've got three. I used to have a, a sheepdog exactly the same as Charlie. Did you? Uh, called Toby. But uh, unfortunately he died. Statue of some gannets. A famous bird from around here. Just arriving down by the harbour. Go for a wee walk here. All the boats and stuff down here. This is the main harbour down at North Berwick. You can see a lot of the boats still carrying around. They're not getting much action at this time of year, unfortunately. It's just too cold to go out. But aye. North Berwick Harbour. There's a wee walkway down here that I was going to come out and show you, but unfortunately it's just covered in water right now, down there. Green, green rocks means it's slippy. Ah, uh, that's a shame, you can see the water just coming over there. I was going to go out there, but I'm not getting wet feet in this cold for the video, I'm sorry. Now, there is a bridge there that I've crossed over when it's been really stormy and got really wet with the waves, but it's not going to happen today because... Very unusually in the winter, it's so flat here, the water. It's like no wind at all and the water is flat calm. But I can tell you what, standing on these rocks right here, I have actually seen the waves come over the top of here, crashing over, like it's been crazy. Thank you. 
Yeah, the rocks are a really nice color of yellow here as well. It's like algae. Look at that. Just got this little pocket of light here and it's really beautiful. I'm going to try and adventure to the end of the rocks here, but they're a bit slippy and I'm not wearing the best footwear for it. A wee bit scared of these steps. Just have to hold on. I'm going to go way back and see if I can find my mum and George who are taking photos or playing Pokemon or something. I don't know what they're doing. There's a seagull perched really perfectly on top of a rock here with the sunset behind. Look, just going to focus on him. If I could take the photo of him next to the Bass Rock, I think it would be to get in position quietly and hopefully the seagull does not move. There's a wee poster here that tells you how to get around the town. It's not a big town to be honest, North Berwick. The good thing is it's very easy commuting from Edinburgh. That's why so many people come here. And actually a lot of people live here and work in Edinburgh because it's like half an hour in the car. work out where my family are. I don't really see much of the town of North Berwick but I think my favourite thing about this place is the seaside, the beach, the swimming pool, the rocks and all that kind of stuff anyway and that's the thing I most wanted to show you guys. There is a town here, there's a town centre and some shops but it's not the most interesting thing about North Berwick. The thing about North Berwick is the seaside and definitely if you come here get yourself on a boat to that rock there, Bass Rock. You will not regret it. Not going to happen in the winter because it's too cold and none of the boats are operating just now, I don't think. Definitely do the trip in the summer. You will not regret. Really, really cool place. What are you guys doing? Playing Pokemon? <laughs> We've been having a ball, Sean. Doing what? We've been, We've been having a really kicky ball. <laughs> doing what? Playing Pokemon? Pokemon. What level are you on now? Pokemon oh, 28. I'm a healthy 28. What about you? 25. We're going to have some coffee inside there. This is what the Bash Rock looks like in the summer. All white because of seagull and gannet poop. Actually, I did a video of Tantalan Castle recently where I showed you it through the lens of a telescope and you can see it really clearly. Awesome place. Just leaving everybody inside for a wee minute at the Scottish Seabird Centre because there's a little bit of pink in the sky and I want to capture it just before it disappears. Very, very pretty. I'm standing right here outside the Scottish Seabird Centre which is right behind me which is where we had our cake really really recommended to cake and that's the last of tonight's sunset George coming to take a photo as well yeah. on his phone on Instagram so yeah pretty awesome out here and that pretty much concludes our trip to North Berwick I think we'll head back to Edinburgh it's not going to take long as I say it's not far away anyway I'm going to hit the road now back to Edinburgh. St Andrew's Old Kirk, there was some kind of old churchyard here at one point, which is no longer here, obviously. It's the thing with a lot of the towns and cities around this area is there's lots of actually hidden history about them that not many people know about. I don't know much about them either, but it's interesting to come and see. I didn't get to show you guys what the town of North Berwick actually really looks like today because we've been at the beach and stuff but at least we're driving through the town now and I'll be able to show you some of the cool Christmas lights they've got going on right now. It is quite a nice little town centre, nice high street. It's pretty, check this out. 